Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plain Obsessed, and I had a request from one of my viewers to talk about my castings. Um, and this particular one I have duplicated on TikTok, which I am there at one Plant Obsessed. So let's take a look in here and let me show you what I do. As you can tell, we're just about full here, so spring needs to hurry up. Or I'm going to have to get more storage. So what we're looking here is castings, and you can kind of see how I can kind of make little swirls with them. So make a fist, and then they stay in that little clump. The minute I touch them, it all falls away. So that's the ideal moisture to keep the castings at. And then I also do something in the event that there are cocoons, and there's, there's always cocoons. So what I do is I get a little bait box here, bait station, whatever you want to call it, and then basically I put food in there so that I can tell if, so I can harvest the worms and get them out of there, because I'm still in that phase of my worm farming, got to catch them all. All right, so here we are with what was in the bait, and I've got a little bit, little bitty worms in here. Not real little, little bitty. So I'm going to pull them out, but I'm going to kind of look through here and see if I can find any more worms so that I can add them back to the other worms in the systems. Because I really don't want worms to live in here on purpose. All I really want them to do is to get out, uh, go to the bait station and get back out. So we've got a little bit of pumpkin here. Put that back in, kind of look it over, make sure there's nothing stuck to it. And as the time goes on, you know, you do really get um, most of them out. Uh, never mind the barking in the background. They hear me in the basement and they think I'm an invader. Let's see. So just keep going through it. You know, it's not important to get 100%. I'm not throwing these out in the garden at this moment. But that seems to be, I've been doing this, you know, every week or every other week since I started with the castings. But as I continue to add castings to this container, um, of course, there's new cocoons, etc. So I'm just going to bury that back up over here in the corner. I'll take the rest of those worms and I'll put them in one of my systems. And then I will just backfill and cover it all back up. Now, in the event that this was getting too dry, and it is on the verge of being too dry, I just take my handy dandy uh, mister, go over it once, and that's all I really need to do. And then I have kind of a, a two cover system. I place this in the middle, and then I put this on the top. Now note that one is too small and one is too big. I want to make sure that there's aeration capable in there. Otherwise, if you try and lock it tight, then what you're going to get is mold and uh, or it gets too dry and then your microbes die, which is no good. So this harvest, I just got, I don't know, 10 worms maybe. And I'll go ahead and put them back in my system. That's a short little video today on how I manage my castings and how I keep them until I use them. All right, guys, if you like the video, give me a muddy thumbs up. And if you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. Okay, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody, have a good day.